Master right here. Welcome to the weekly update video for RS3. Now we're going to be going over a little bit more than the weekly update because we're also going to be going over what's happening uh, for the month of December as well because there's a whole bunch that's coming such as weekly buffs. Uh, so throughout the December we'll be introducing new stacking buffs uh, that builds each week until July 4th. Um, there is going to be a TWR, oh, a TWIR on December 4th with the full list of buffs uh, that are heading our way in December. So that's actually going to be coming up here pretty soon. Uh, there's also going to be presents from the imps. So, uh, much like the uh, presents we're used to before, uh, there's going to be a lot of cosmetics and a whole bunch of ability overrides. Uh, you could get 10 million coins, you could get an Aurora die, Soul die, uh, and then this year, uh, the new Santa hat is going to be a purple Santa hat, as you can see here in this picture. Now, obviously, they don't have the rarities written down here as far as, like, what things are more common in different types of boxes, uh, but uh, up first, we have the white present, which... You know, it has your basics of 10 oddments, 2,500 coins, small lamp, small star, tight spring times 10, five silver hawk feathers, the Christmas pudding is 2 to 4, mold wine times 7, mince pie, yule log 2 to 4, turkey drumstick 12, roasted potatoes 2 to 3, gold rings times 5, sea turtle times 2, papaya eggs times 3, bucket of milk times 8, coal orange, cozy title scroll, Colington's ember, uh, green Santa hat emote token. So keep in mind it's an emote. A uh, yellow party hat cracker emote token and a green party hat. Uh, green party cracker emote token. I shouldn't say party hat. And then there's the Santa purple Santa hat. Then of course you go to blue. You got a little bit more of the, all the varieties. Uh, but just at a higher rate. Except for the foods. The foods are all staying the same. Uh, but when it gets down to the new stuff, you have the naughty title scroll, the nice title scroll, frosty title scroll, winter scarf, winter hat, red Santa hat, uh, emote token, purple party cracker, and the red party cracker emote tokens, and the purple uh, Santa hat. Obviously, the purple Santa hat is going to be the rarest thing out of that. And then you go to purple, which again is an increase to some of the stuff. Some of it stays um, kind of down there. Uh, like the medium lamp, medium star, but you also have the large lamp, and large star as well. Uh, there's also the Aurora title and the festive title. There's a very light fishing token. Uh, there is a new skeletal warrior override for the festive warrior. Uh, there's the purple Santa hat emote token, the black Santa hat emote token, white, blue, and black party cracker emote token, and then the purple uh, uh, Santa hat. And those who are lucky enough to pick up the gold, uh, which obviously this is the one that has the biggest stuff in, uh, a lot of stuff is actually going untradeable here, which is very shocking. But you got 10 mil coins, and all of the overrides are actually going to be untradeable, which is very interesting. But you have the Azure Dragon Breath, the Chaotic Swiftness, Azure Sunshine, cha Chaotic Berserk. Azure Berserk, Champions Hurricane, Chaotic Hurricane, Shock Barricade, Boulder Pet, um, Running Sacred Walk, Hall of Fame Walk, Hedge Teleport Token, uh, Rainbow Title, Ranger Roll Walk, Enforcer Walk, Woodland Archers, uh, Herald's Outfit, Stratus Cloud, all of those tokens and scrolls are untradeable. And then there's also the Lucky Arcane, Spectral, Divine, and Legion Spirit Shields, as well as the Aurora Die and Soul Die, as well as, of, of course, the Purple Santa Hat. Now, um, Iron Man players cannot acquire certain items as per usual that gives the advantage. And if you are such an Iron Man that you get um, lucky, unlucky, I'm not sure how you're going to see this, but if you were to win the 10 mil prize, you will instead get 5,000 oddments. I know it kind of bites guys, but keep in mind what that game mode is. Uh, the advent calendar will be coming back, which will be starting on the 1st, and then you can claim uh, all your gifts all the way through the 24th. 
Uh, so do check that out. And you only, if you open on the day 15, you get a special present as well. So keep that in mind. Uh, there's a Santa Grotto, well, Santa's Grotto and Treasure Hunter promotion. Uh, so do keep that in mind that Santa's Grotto is coming back, which is usually a pretty big deal. Uh, there is a prize meter, as you can see here. Uh, how this is going to work exactly, not entirely too sure, but this say there's a 25 key interval with bigger prizes award filling the prize meter at 100 keys. So keep that in mind. Uh, but before that even hits, we got Loot Rooms going from the 28th of November to the 3rd of December. Academy of Heroes Ice Edition is 4th of December through the 10th. A Dragon's Dozen is 11th through the 17th. And Santa's Grotto will be hitting on the 18th through the 3rd of January. Now, heading more into today's update, we have the Christmas Village in the Black Party Hat, which is now out. Uh, so this is something that you could be doing, so... Uh, start hopping in today to get to go to the beautiful Christmas village, help Snow Imp specifically decorate the cities of Rock, Lumbridge, and Falador in the new seasonal quest and collect some Christmas spirit to exchange for old and new items in the seasonal store. Also, make sure you collect and deliver your letters to Santa each week and earn nice points to be in a chance of winning the Black Party Hat. Uh, so, it doesn't say how many Black Party Hats there are. I don't know. Um... It, it honestly it probably works just like all the other events you just keep getting your chance at it and hope for the best type deal and then the omen plushie is also coming here now the orders close december 13th so this is a pre-order thing here uh this is strictly limited edition but this is what omen looks like he also has a glow in the dark feature to him which is pretty cool and what better time to have a black friday and Xmas merch thing going on here. So orders over 50 pounds, $64 or 58, uh, get free black mat max cape ring. Uh, and it glows in the dark as well. So, and that's this right here. Uh, if there's <clears throat> ever a time to get something, now's the time to do it because there's a lot of cool things that are on there. I know me personally, I'm, I'm planning on getting the tanker, maybe a party hat. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, the Treasure Hunter calendar, um, again, we just talked about this, this, is Loot Room starting on the November 27th, so starting today. And then the patch notes, we go into the Vorkast Battle 4, 4, and 3. Um, change the buy limit for Vorkast spikes from 10 to 100. The grouping system is now functioning as intended, so players should now have no issues grouping up as long as they've completed story mode. So keep in mind, story mode, things are easier. If you go with the actual combat, it's going to be a lot harder. And they fix an issue preventing the solve amulet from working on the horde phase. Uh, mini bosses during the battle of four and three boss fight. When rejoining the battle of four and three, the players, uh, the player is less likely to be spawned on poison pools. Um, made a small tweak to Vorka's zonal ice breath attack. It's now possible to dodge damage by stepping into previously targeted areas at the right moment. The Zonal Ice Breath will no longer damage familiars if you escape the attack yourself. Vorkath Hard Mode Loot has been improved. You will need to open up all your existing Hard Mode Loot containers before you can start a new encounter and access a new, uh, Loot Drop Table. Uh, story and Normal Mode Drop Tables have not been adjusted. Uh, the chance of receiving some lesser valued loot has been reduced, such as the Bayonet Stone Spirits. The chance of receiving some more desirable loot has been increased, such as Black Stone Hearts. Um, the chance to receive armor upgrade materials has been increased. The chance to receive the Codex has been increased. The number of rolls per loot container has been increased from 6 to 8. Uh, there is a hotfix that someone out. Uh, fix an issue that caused Warcast Hunt event interface to display incorrectly. Fix an issue that caused causing the Deskull's ability to revert to the previous behavior when choosing between some targets that are immune. Tier 90 Dracolich now requires a needle and thread to craft. Augmented Dracolith armor no longer uses the degrade to dust system. 
uh, players should now be able to load into the boss phase without issue regarding uh, well, regardless of solo or group size. Abilities that require necromancy runes and ectoplasm are now required when equipping the nexus from your bank. Uh, Zabergul's death skull ability should now find its target correctly. In general, uh, Spencer the Imp UI that showcases previous and upcoming winter updates has been refer or refreshed to a more modern style with the title of Festive Releases. Text on the signpost is now larger and bolder and easier to read. Uh, they also unwrapped and removed the blue present that was hiding under the snow near Spencer. Uh, portable stations can once again be placed inside of the 443 workshop. Then we head into the community showcase. Up first we have Zemergal and his little army here. And this is by uh, Quadri. Very cool looking uh, picture. And then up next we have a uh, beautiful artwork here just outside of our well, Janor Bank, uh, and this is by Susie. Absolutely awesome. And then we have Legend Art showing Zemergul riding on Vorkath. Very cool. And then we head into Rune Tube. Up first, we well, the only one for this week is actually the Protox Gaming. Uh, so this is the 2023 Christmas event, and he's going over it. Uh, which, as you can see there, the where the black party hat is right there. And there's also some awesome other stuff going on. And as you can see in the background, you have the ice bow, ice sword, and ice offhand sword. So do check that out if you're a bit feeling a little bit icy. And Terasu has got a nice screenshot here um, of the fort being all frosted over. And Wings... Very interesting that you got that name brings their pet boulder out for a walk so that is pretty cool looking uh pink star player events so first we have the career ara hard mode hosted by mercy and helpscape thursday november 30th at 1700 game time world 35 armadillo lobby fc's helpscape next angel of death hosted by pippy spot in the boss guild this will be friday december 1st at 2000 game time World 88 God Wars Dungeon Ancient Prison FC is the boss of events. Next, Angel of Death, hosted by Spotly Wolf and Nexio Adamas. This is Friday, December 1st, 2300. So keep in mind there is a few hours in between the two if you want to catch both. Um, this will take place on World 92 God Wars Dungeon Ancient Prison FC is next AO Adamas. And the nice thing is these are both in the same location, so you can choose one or the other if you so desire. Uh, just a different world. So, if your friend wants to go to a different one and you're already at that one, hey, try to get together and do what you can. Uh, but that is actually it for this week. And, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, later, guys. And by the way, I will mention, just as a little PSA bonus here, if I get a black party hat, I am thinking about giving it away, so just let me know how you guys would like to see that happen. Um, I really do actually want to do that. I just got to think of a way that I can do a giveaway with that to make it fair for everybody who uh, wants to potentially get that as well. Uh, because I do have some stuff I have planned in the hopefully near future, uh, as long as no more delays keep happening. So... Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, later guys.